Hey there everyone, my name is Lucky Shadow of the Five. I'm out of breath. From the guys who play games. Back with some more, it's my brother three, and right off the bat I'm gonna do two things. Well I'm gonna point out two things. So first off, right up in that top left corner you can see the uh I guess ground land? What, what, what's the opposite of Skyland? What's below Skyland? Ground land? Earth land? Land lands? I don't know. But uh, you can see it's kind of like a mini version, but not quite. Like you can see like there's less it's uh, less pathways below and there's a pathway above the ziggurat spiral tower ding -a -ling -a, which obviously doesn't actually exist. So either the developers didn't really care about making it super accurate and just did what they could or it's like um, I don't know like a beta map something like that you know like from you know in the past man I described that way better in my head but whatever also you can notice that there's like the cloud over there to the left which I think is pretty cool because you actually climb the clouds during uh, near the end of the tower so it's almost like uh, like you can actually kind of see where you're going. I mean, that could just be a coincidence, but I don't know. I, I think it's still cool. Anyways, we're gonna go to level five. Let's see what's my inventory. Also, I uh, should do this while I'm here too. So uh, when you have, you only have four inventory items, right? You only have four, uh, like I guess like panels or whatever you want to call them. So you have four of these, and the last item will just start getting replaced when you run out of inventory room. So basically, I'll use that music box because I'm not going to use it anyways. Also, here we are in this level. Isn't this a fun level? Oh crap. No! Whoa, Jesus. Okay, just jump over here, do that. Doop -doop -doop. But yeah, this is a pretty cool level. It's just almost all donut blocks. Oh nice, and we get a, a tanuki for our troubles. It's almost like the game knows. Do 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 do. So yeah, anyways, we can jump up here, there's stuff up here. Oh god, please. Oh god, please don't take away my tanuki, baby. Ew. So yeah, this level's I don't know, it's just a bunch of donut freaking blocks. Dang it! Oh wait, is that the end of the level? Like See what I mean about Super Mario Bros. 3 levels being so short? This level is all donut blocks, and it's over in like 30 freaking seconds. Like, what the hell was that? I, I got the secret and then it's just done. Like, all I did was kick a block, or kick a shell between two blocks, and it's just dunsies. Whatever, let's line up the pictures. So what do we get this time? We get a mushroom. Dang it! Come on! That was totally mushroom. Dang it! Like, the timing is really weird. It's like, oh, just a little bit after. But, like, if you go too much, you miss the... You miss it. It's, it's weird. Uh, let's see. For this level, I don't know. I mean, let's let's go into this mushroom house and see what we get. do 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 boop 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 Just pick the first one. Hey, we got a leaf. Ooh, my ears are ringing. Uh, I don't know, let's, let's do them in order. Nah, let's do reverse order. Level 7, let's go. So in here we have this, uh, I guess, like, place of places, you know, as you were. Oh god, I'm screwing up. Die. Please give me a mushroom. It's not a mushroom. Also, if you haven't noticed, the, the things jumping in these blocks are actually micro Goombas, which can be kind of hard to see. Oh, jeez. Uh, please leave me alone. Okay. Shoot your fireballs, and I'm gonna try to- <clears throat> I knew it! Yep, I knew it alright. I got the- well, I mean, I got the one-up, so technically there was no waste there, but I am going to go ahead and use this mushroom. I mean, I'm just making good use of my resources, right? Yeah, that's it. That's what I'll tell the people. <laughs> okay, what's over here? There's probably, uh, like a fire flower in there. Huh! There wasn't anything. It was just a big old disappointment. That's all life ever is these days, ain't it, huh? 
Ain't that the truth? Also, we got lag or two up in the house. Uh, there might have been a thing in that pipe, but I don't care. Lakitu is going crazy. There's also bullet bills at the end of the level for some reason. Oh, we got Lakitu. Let's let's see if I can show this off. I might die, but I'm gonna try to. Uh, yeah, we get a one up. It's pretty nice. Also, I got a fire flower again. Let's try to actually do that. Um, here I'll do this. So. A uh, big weakness of these Hammer Brothers is just going into level with a star. They just drop dead. You can just stand here and they'll jump into me and die. Dead. Seriously? I swear one of these has a mushroom in it, but maybe I'm think maybe that's like all stars or something? I don't know. Uh, we got another music box, and like, there's literally only Hammer Brothers in like the next world, and that's it, so I'm just gonna use this, because like, like, let's be real, like, if you really want to kill the Hammer Brothers, just use a star. Pretty much the only good use for the music box is that if you kill the Hammer Brothers, I don't think you can get a coin ship anymore. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but I know that, like, when you get a coin ship, it turns one of the Hammer Brothers into a coin ship. So, if you kill them all, you can't get a coin ship anymore, so I guess that's the use. It's kind of niche, but I mean, it's, it's there. Uh, I mean, is there water in the clouds? The answer is yes, but we can't swim in it, so I'll just use a fire flower. Now we do level six. Oh god, it's an auto scroller in the sky. No, it's these jerks. Okay, these are—I don't even know what they're called. They're like parabuzzies or something. Basically, uh, they just fly straight, and if you land on them. They sink down for a second, and then they start flying up all crazy. They're kind of... It's not too bad, but they move kind of... Well, I mean, they move very predictably, but they also move, like, you know, against the auto scroll. So it, like, makes it kind of hard to, like, predict where you're going to land. But they're actually... They actually stopped already. Oh, God. Ha, ha, ha. Let's see. What am I getting here? Coins. This is certainly much easier than what it's supposed to be like. Uh, really? Oh, there's another lack too. Okay, I'm gonna get another one up because I mean, honestly, at this point, it's probably easier just to do it like this. Boom! We get another one up. I mean, hey, if I keep this up, maybe I will get to 99 lives. Hey, okay, what are we getting? Uh, so if I remember correctly, 20 coins, 10 coins. Dang it! Wait. I blanked. Okay. That's a mushroom? Yeah. This is a fire flower? No! Okay. Well, that's fine. Like, yeah, you fill up your inventory really fast if you're, if you're not really trying to use items too much. I'm gonna pro if I die in the airship, I'm I don't know. We'll we'll see. Cause I'm not entirely sure. There might actually be a glitch I'm not aware of. But we'll we'll see in a sec here. Well, a sec here as I beat three other levels, including a fortress. Do do do. Oh, it's this one. I think this is the one. This one's pretty interesting because basically there's lava up top. I think. I actually don't know how it works. I know that in the All-Stars version, it actually is lava. But I don't know, if I jump up too high, does that kill me? I might actually science that in just a sec here. Also, that's not good. So where's the dudes? Not there. <gasps> There's a star! You can actually- oh, wow. I didn't know there was a star in this area. So yeah, you can actually kill potables normally. And this boo here. That might be like the only time there's ever- a star next to the photobos. Those sons of bitches. Ah! Like, photobos aren't too scary if you're going really fast, because they spawn, they like drop as soon as you walk on screen. So if you're fast, they just like, you already know where they're going to be. It's actually a pretty good, uh, like, enemy design, because it makes sure they can't cheap shot you by just popping on screen without you seeing them. Unless you're going really slow. But that's your, that's kind of like, you're not supposed to, so. Like, the level's even designed, because they even give you a star. 
Anyways, let's try this again. Line up them pictures. I'm gonna get the star this time. I swear to God. No, I went one over. Come on. I love how the very first time I did this, I got it perfect. Now I always mess it up. Uh, pff, I don't know. I mean, really. Let's just do. Yeah, let's just do. Let's just go through. I, I have a tail. What could be better for a cloud level than a tail? I bet you this is the kind of level where if you go up top, there's probably stuff in the clouds. Oh god, like two's back. That ain't good. Woo! Thankfully, if you have a tail, it's kind of pathetic, which is why I've lost it now. To make sure the level isn't super easy for me to complete. Ow! Die like a two. Oh, that shit doesn't work. What you son of a? Okay, whatever. Like two's gone, so it's fine. Meow. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's just get our life and get the hell out of dodge. Ugh! Or get points because you know. Points aren't pointless. That's a thing, right? I mean, if nothing else, I'm using items. You only have four slots, so let's just keep going. Oh, bloody hell. This is the level I was thinking might be pure hell with that tail. So what luck is it that I have no tail? <laughs> Isn't that how it always works? I mean... You can tell pretty obvious what's happening here. It's just an auto scroller, very high up in the sky with just moving platforms everywhere, and like the auto scroller moves faster than the platforms can appear sometimes. So you have to make like off screen. You're like off screen and trying to jump. Also, there's this jerk again. I don't even remember what he's called. It's like, uh, it's like a bob bomb or something. Cause, man, that platform was barely off screen. When I died. Jeez. But yeah, like, they're on screen for like, I don't know. I didn't even, we didn't even get to see what they do. Well, you'll see in a, maybe, I don't know. It's kind of hard to in a level like this because you're probably going to end up jumping on them. But basically, they, sh they have like five flames behind them. They shoot those flames out and they actually get shorter, which is pretty cool. Actually, it's actually like a really cool look kind of like designed enemy, I guess is the best way to put it. And basically, once they shoot their flames, they go out for a bit longer, and then they just kind of blow up. Okay, get out of here! Okay. So now I don't have to deal with that, and hopefully I'm not going to die from going off screen. Like, like, barely like two feet. Get out of my face, you freaking jerk! I knew I would die in this level, but I didn't think I would die because of this guy. Whatever. We out of there. Lakitu's here. I wonder if every level uses the same exit. Because I know that, like, uh, you can kind of, like, reuse stuff like that because it's, like, Ugh. Dang it! Really? Such points. Wow. I love getting points. It was totally worth it. Wow. Really? The cards again? Well, I know that I'm pretty sure that's a fire flower and that's the coins, so. At least I'm done with the, that card. And I'm almost back to filling up my inventory again. I've been using one almost every level, and I'm still, like, filling it up. They're just really generous. So, so what the... See, this is kind of funny, because... I, I, I saw this mentioned around, but, like... Some people think this guy's a vulture, and some people think he's, like, a duck. I have... It's kind of hard to tell, because he just has a big beak and little beady eyes. What would you even call that? Like, honestly, he's probably supposed to be a duck. He's definitely not a vulture. A vulture has, like, more things you would notice. Th that is definitely, like, a duck. But whatever. We're on the airship. The airship is kind of orange, and the background is a light blue. Which makes sense because we're high up in the sky in Cloud World. Skylands, whatever you want to call it. I wish I had the Tanuki, because I love killing fire with Tanuki. It's kind of, like, the greatest thing. You can just bounce on fire, and the fire is just permanently dead. It makes no sense, but man, does it like? It's really weird. Like you think they would have noticed? I don't. They probably. I don't know. Like, should I even say like you think they would have noticed that? Because they probably. I don't know. Maybe they just didn't think anyone would ever be creative enough to try. Like, there's a lot of obscure things in this game, so I don't know. 
Ah, shoot. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, that's kind of weird, though, that, like, when Mario's off the... Oh, jeez. Oh, no, I'm gonna have to do a coupling without any power-ups? This is not good. Okay, which coupling is... I think this is, um... What's his face? It's the crazy one. No, no, it's just Roy. I think he does like an earthquake. What was that hitbox? He like gave me a kick to the foot. Oh no, okay. So this is a thing. I'm gonna use the anchor. That makes it the airship can't move anymore. But there's something I'm... There might be a problem. I wasn't aware that this actually happened, but first of all, let's shut this pipe. So I go into this pipe, and like, it just leaves like this little quick area that has like, casual music, and cool thing though is there's a one up here. And you can actually infinitely go back into this pipe from the tower, so if you keep doing this tower and going back down, you can actually get uh, infinite lives. So I can actually grind myself to 99 if I wanted to. But uh, thankfully the ship is here. Apparently. I have never had this happen to me. I mean, I haven't played this version of the game at all. But I've played All-Stars a bunch, and it never happened there. So unless they fixed it there, but uh, I digress. Basically, apparently sometimes the airship can get stuck between the sky part and the land part here. Where it's kind of stuck in limbo, and you can no longer actually access the airship. Which means you actually have to get a... I think you have to get a game over. Would be the fat... Like the way to fix that without having to restart the entire game, but well, the airship's here, it's fine. Also, I forgot about this, but I wanted to pay the attention. There's like a couple weird little glitchy pixels up above the thing there. I don't know if that's because I'm playing, because of the way I'm playing the game or not, but just thought it was funny. Anyways, let's do the airship. This time, let's not drop uh, in the uh, in ranking, I don't know. What? I jumped right when it shot, so I lost my tail. What a stupid way to lose a power-up. That is the most, like, old-school way I've ever lost a power-up in my life. That's so Kaizo! Not really, but it's funny to say. Do, 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 do. I mean, there's not really much to say. We already did this airship. There's these cool little, like, uh, like wall shooters. This thing's back, which is kind of cool. Whoa, whoa, it's not very dangerous though, cause like... Ugh. Oh jeez, it's scarier than it looks actually. You might think like, oh, it's, if you just keep moving it's fine, but it does kind of get you sometimes. So please jump over the thing. Let's just fight Roy. This time I have a power up, so surely I can beat Roy with a power up. Yeah, as long as you time your jump. Just jump right when he is about to earthquake and you you can pretty much just get him right away. Yeah, we did it. Sky World wasn't nearly as long as I remember it being. Like, all those levels were like less than like a minute long, basically. You could just kind of rush through most of them. I guess the better term would be blitz through them. It's kind of sad, but eh, Super Mario Bros. 3 isn't a super long game. I mean, it's still, on, it's NES. Also, that guy's beard is so long. He actually has kind of a unique looking face to him, too. Also, apparently toads are just like universal, like, assistants. I didn't even think about that. Uh, but anyways. Greetings, be careful in the ice well. The creatures trapped in the ice will come to life if warmed. I have enclosed a jewel that helps protect you. Princess Toadstool. Beach. Now we're in ice world! Level world 6 with 61 lives! This is when the game really starts to start showing its fangs, but we'll get to that next time. So, um, yeah, I guess that's it for now. See you guys later, Monkey Shrapnel, out. Boo.